ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮನೆ ಧೋಕಾ ಹೋಮ್ ಧೋಕಾ what does it mean a hearty welcome to everyone on the platform and especially uh, uh, ma'am on this call uh, uh, what's your full name ma'am mrs sanchita banerji mrs sanchita banerji on the platform and uh, mrs sanchita banerji is one of the home buyer in bangalore and we are going to discuss with mrs sanchita banerji about her story and this is a grievance platform where home buyers are going to express their grievances how they are getting this home dhoka in bangalore because of the failures in the system whether it is a builder failure or the rera failures or bureaucracy failure it's a, it's a different ball game but there is a system failure happening in karnataka we wanted to highlight a home dhoka how is happening in karnataka with an example live example of mrs sanchita banerji on this call please have a big round of applause to welcome mrs sanchita banerji on this call and also i wanted to welcome ragunath sir who is the president of the greens uh, home buyers association in bangalore and he will also be explaining with respect to association what are the different measures the association is taking to protect the interest of the home buyers and also explain how rera should function in the future sessions that we are going to have it so with that note i wanted to welcome both these gentlemen both ragunath sir and sanchita banerji onto this platform and heartily welcome to all our viewers on the facebook channel and also this video will be shared across youtube channels as well over a period of time and also shared with the media person i heartily welcome to media person because without their support this campaign could not have been successful and the message has been going across all over the world saying that how home dhoka is happening in karnataka because of the failure of the system in karnataka and we are going to talk about and in detail with mrs sanchita banerji before that i want to share something a very very important a small video which is available in public domain about the particular project that we are talking now in detail with sanchita ma stay with us tune with us thank you so this is the greens buyers association a registered association in bangalore we are referring to this particular page tgba.bangalore on facebook and i want to just run one small video of how home buyers are getting cheated in bangalore especially in the greens apartment so these are some of the important stuff how what you can see on the screen right now is a, the structure that is available as of today which has been posted on december 17 2021 and this is the state at which the buyers of the greens are living in and uh, home buyers protection and everything is been posted across this one important uh, you know step that has been taken by the the respective associations has been posted in the youtube channel as well and you can see some of the completed stuff this is the project that we are going to talk today the green buyers this was one video that has been recorded when the builder cheated the home buyers have got together to file a complaint in the police station raatri hagalu tuttu otpari hakki to hakide valli phone phone itta illa phone alli yaar illa alli office illa ಅದಾದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಎಲ್ಲ ಆಗಿ 
ಎಂಟು ವರ್ಷದಿಂದ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಸಿಟಿಸನ್ಸ್ ಅವರು ರಿಟೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದುಡ್ಡು ಹಾಕಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಲೋನ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೂ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸ್ ನಡೀತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇದು ದೇವನಹಳ್ಳಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೀತಿರೋ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟು ಎಷ್ಟು ಫ್ಲಾಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂಬೈನೂರು ಫ್ಲಾಟ್ ಇದೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಫ್ಲಾಟ್ಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಫ್ಲಾಟ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ದುಡ್ಡು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಕಮಾನ್ ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಜನ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಸಿಟಿಸನ್ಸ್ ತಮ್ಮ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಮನೆಯನ್ನ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಮನೆ ಗ್ರಾಹಕರಾಗಿ ಮನೆ ಖರೀದಿದಾರಾಗಿ ಹಣವನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಜನ ಹೆಣ್ಣು ಮಕ್ಕಳು ತಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನವನ್ನ ರೂಪಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ಮನೆ ಖರೀದಿದಾರಾಗಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನ ಬೆಳೆಸೋದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಹಣವನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಜನ ತಮ್ಮ ಆಸೆಯನ್ನ ಮನೆ ಅನ್ನುವುದು ಬರೀ ಒಂದು ಚಿಕ್ಕ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಗೋಡೆಗಳ ಮಧ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವಂತಹ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಆಸೆಗಳಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಡ್ರೀಮ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇಂತಹ ಮೋಸ ಮಾಡುವಂತಹ ಬಿಲ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಗಳಿಂದಾಗಿ ದ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ರಿಯಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಹೌ ಹೌ ಬಯರ್ಸ್ ಚೀಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೂರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಫೇಲ್ಯೂರ್ಟರಿ ಬಾಡಿ This is a complete failure of the system in Karnataka and this is a complete failure of Naitika Day in Bangalore and especially in Karnataka how Northern has been running across and with this note I wanted to once again welcome Give me my money back You want our money back My money or my home Sanchita Banerjee today on this call and explain and understand how she got got into this particular project and then how she got cheated by the builder. I hardly welcome once again ma'am and then please introduce yourself in detail and then uh, you know let's get into uh, action what exactly happened and then how it has actually happened. So in the interest of everybody's viewers on this channel. thank you dhananjay sir so first of all thank you so much for giving me this platform where um i can come and talk about my story which definitely will inspire the other home buyers also um so i'm sure uh, i will be able to tell my story and it will reach to most of the people uh, most of the home buyers so that is uh, my hope so with that i'll start um so uh, currently i'm residing at bangalore but i'm basically not from bangalore Mm-hmm. i am coming from a small town uh, that is called tata nagar uh, which is in jharkhand state mm-hmm. so i finished my uh, studies there and like many people i also came to bangalore for job mm-hmm. and uh, in 2011 i started my <clears throat> corporate uh, job mm-hmm. in bangalore and uh, uh, like again with like many other people uh, uh, like the middle class family okay so they have few milestones in their lifetime uh, which they try to achieve so first is uh, to f- complete their education and then yeah. to get a job Definitely. and then to start a family but of course at the same time three basic uh, uh, essentials that we always look for food shelter and clothing right so that shelter yeah. is very important Yeah. so uh, i am the youngest uh, daughter of my parents from uh, uh, i have two uh, elder sisters we don't have any brothers and uh, somewhere always this responsibility was with me to take care of my parents mm-hmm. uh, i'm also coming from a very middle class family my father was um, um, uh, employed in an organization and he retired and uh, still like uh, uh, many other parents they raised us uh, raised me very well so the first thing when i after i got a job that 
thing came to my mind that, uh, and of course, for our education, for our, our other needs, my father could not buy a house on his own. So uh, I thought that, okay, um, I will fulfill his dream and of course my dream. And uh, for, for any middle-class family, the, the, the dream of getting a house is very simple. It is not for any other investment purpose or any other purpose yeah. and not so many houses we will build also. So it is like one house for, for me and my family where we can stay, we can uh, live together. Yeah. So with yeah. that thought, uh, at the very early of my career itself in 2013, I started looking for a for a for a for a flat for an apartment. Mm -hmm. And at that time, we didn't have so much of awareness or so much of resources where we can mm -hmm. go research and <laughs> first check about you know like right now we have Rera uh, authorized mm -hmm. or not. But so many things we didn't have at that time. Mm -hmm. So our uh, the first thing is okay newspaper and mm -hmm. uh, so uh, this particular builder that I will be talking about. They put a very big um, advertisement on uh, Times of India. Mm -hmm. So that is a very um, uh, famous uh, uh, newspaper, right? Yeah. So uh, we saw that uh, poster over there and got attracted to that because they promised a lot of things which actually uh, very much uh, was suiting for a mediocre family, for a middle class mm -hmm. people or mm -hmm. people who are who just started their job, their career, right? So. Mm -hmm. With that hope, uh, we went to the uh, site. At that time, there was nothing. <clears throat> and also, uh, why I could not go for the um, uh, ready to move in flat at that time? Because of mm -hmm. course, we know that that is too much of too much expensive. Mm -hmm. So in 2013, mm -hmm. I'm talking about 2013. So mm -hmm. uh, ready to move in was costing some 50, 60 lakhs to me. And obviously, I was not in that situation financially that I could even think about it. Mm, right. Mm. So they were offering something which is affordable and also with some amenities year, and some, some promises they made. What was the year? So when it was 2013. 2013. Okay. 2013. Okay. Yes. 2013 March. Mm, mm. So they launched in 2013 March their phase one. Mm. And I was one of the hundred buyers, first mm. hundred mm. buyers. What is the builder name, ma'am? Once again, what uh, is the builder name? Booked a flat with them. What is the builder name? So, so builder name is India Estate. India, India Estate. Estate. Okay. And the project is The Greens. The Greens. Okay. Yes. And the name India of the company, Estate. Name and the project the name was is, The Greens. Yeah. The name of the company is Mr. Sanjay Landed Estate. Sanjay Landed Estate. Estate. Oh. And their brand name is India Estate, where they launch many projects. India so Estate. Ahead. So we have a, a estate uh, uh, by name India and Vodhoka there. What a shame on the name they have kept for giving dhoka to home buyers. This is really shame. Go ahead, Sir Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so uh, so I went there with my parents and uh, after we saw all those things and their promise, it looked very affordable to us and uh, uh, at that time, okay to us. And like many other people, we also went ahead and booked it. And as I said, I just started my job at that time, just a couple of years back. I didn't have that much of money for the um, down payment also. So my father, and he was a retired person, he, uh, he broke his FD to give that much money. To, to them so with that we started and then i took a loan so uh, also there were some bank people were there like sbi lic mm -hmm. icici so these people were also there who were giving loan so we thought these are very authentic project uh, the, uh, these companies are giving loan also <laughs> so we uh, fell for that so, so this, i took loans obviously we didn't have the even that much of money also well. to completely this this project was approved by the nationalized bank yes yes what a shame. Yes, what a shame. Absolutely. So that, bank, and, and they bank. were all sitting there. Yeah, is our nationalized banks in India not verifying the validity and the authenticity of a builder who could be probably a cheater in the future? This is really pathetic situation for Karnataka. Please go ahead, ma'am. Yeah, Dhananjay sir. Absolutely right. So after I booked uh, on 2013 March, and uh, as we all know, they promised to hand over the project by 2014 December. I'm talking about the phase one and I am one of the buyer from phase one. 
So 2014 December, they promised to hand over. And if not, with obviously some grace period, 2015 June for sure. Mm -hmm. So that was their uh, commitment. Mm -hmm. So that was okay, fine. And then uh, it was 2014 December, nothing happened. 2015, mm -hmm. forget about June, December also passed, nothing happened. Mm -hmm. And we know what, what was happening. But I was still so patient and I was still connecting with the home uh, with the builders and they will keep on changing their uh, crm people or the mm -hmm. uh, the account uh, people every time there will be new person to talk to and they will start from the beginning they don't even know our names they don't even know that we have sent emails they don't even know that um, what are the conversation we had in the past they'll start from the beginning as if they don't know anything so it started very frustrating and if and they have the standard thing three months may complete ho jayega in next three every months, time, three every months. Every but time when, you uh, speak to them, three months may complete ho jayega. Oh my God. Hmm. Three months may complete ho jayega. So, and they kept on saying that, okay, I, I was very patient. I have been patient for a long time. But, but for a simple common people like us, like how long and we are paying rent, we, mm -hmm. Our EMI has started also because as a genuine uh, citizen, as a good citizen, we don't want to be bank defaulter uh, yeah. because we are not fraud. So we, we are very scared about all those things. So even if we have to give something from our pocket, we will do. We are paying tax. Okay, so much tax we are paying to the government. We are paying the rent. We are paying the EMI. So we are stuck from everywhere. And I didn't know what to do. Then uh, 2016, 17, mm -hmm. like, so, uh, and then it kept on going. And uh, I didn't see any uh, progress of the project and there was no hope. And that's when I started doubting. Until then, I was not doubting much also because I was still patient and okay, I thought it's a big project, they are taking time mm -hmm. whatsoever. But then I started doubting them. And uh, thankfully, I started reaching out to some other uh, buyers from mm -hmm. our uh, the, the Greens project. Mm -hmm. And we came in contact and we came in contact with the mm, TGPA, that is the Greens Buyer Association, mm -hmm. in the year of 2019. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, some 100 people, uh, we came together and we all had the similar problem. Some, so some, there are some um, um, aged people or some retired people, they put all of their retirement money to this project. Mm -hmm. And now they don't have money, now they don't have shelter. So there are like people like that also. And uh, by that time, we have already paid a lot of, already paid at least 80 to 90% mm -hmm. of the money. Mm -hmm. And uh, still there is uh, nothing happening, not much of progress. So these uh, about 100 people, we came together and we mm, uh, filed our first collective case in RERA. And how that happened? Because obviously uh, these are the small steps that we could take. So when nothing is happening with the builder and there is nobody who is talking to us who are willing to who are willing to talk to us, forget about talking to us. Mm -hmm. They don't even, so how much ever emails you, I was sending, they were not responding to that. And as I said, they keep on changing and new, new person will come and they don't know anything and they will ask some very stupid questions, etc. Mm -hmm. So the next step for a common man is what? And that is, the, that is why we have this legal system in place, right? But as a common person, I didn't have much of understanding mm -hmm. of that also. But mm -hmm. thankfully, luckily, uh, under the, the Green Spire Association umbrella mm -hmm. and under uh, Rakusar's um, guidance. Mm -hmm. So uh, we filed our first collective case. Uh, I would like to quote uh, the collective case number also here. So on 2019, 19th of October, we filed mm -hmm. our collective case, which is 191030 slash 4567. So this is our collective case. Mm -hmm. About 120 of us collectively, mm -hmm. we had filed this case. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what happened after that uh, on the collective case? So we had a couple of uh, hearing. Our builder side never they never showed showed up mm -hmm. uh, some very uh, uh, some two or three people and only few times the advocate uh, will come and that also they will change mm -hmm. from their side whoever will come they are not the authorized uh, member of the company they, they can't comment on anything they can't say much about these things and again three months may ho jayega. next three months next three months is the same thing mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. even had a uh, site audit on 3rd July 2020 I want to stop it there in the interest of general public I wanted to put a uh, you know screen share viewers media friends 
This is a Chanchaya land and estate private limited that we are seeing in the Karnataka RERA portal. Sanchaya land and estate private limited. There are 111 complaints. There are 39 complaints. There are two complaints. So basically, if you add up these two around say 140 plus 150, close to one, close to 150 complaints against a particular builder. And the question from a common man of this state, as a common man, ek aamadmi puch raha hai. Sarkar kya kar rahi hai idhar? Rera kya kar rahi hai idhar? Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka, please see this number. How many cheating cases have been registered? How many homebuyers have been registered in this? What is our Rera is doing in this? Please go ahead, ma'am. Yeah. So uh, under the collective case uh, uh, hearing, we got an order to uh, go to the site itself for site audit to see what is the status of the project after eight years. So I'm talking about last year, 3rd July. So uh, 3rd July, there was an inspection from RERA. People came, they inspected, mm -hmm. they submitted the report. And it was mm -hmm. um, very much aligned to what uh, we buyers were uh, were telling that, no, the project mm -hmm. is not even completed 50%. It is not the livable condition at all, right? Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and they were saying, no, it is more than 90% completed like that. So uh, after that audit happened, after but, that report, the, the, the report something. was submitted, yeah. then there was no progress. Raghu sir wanted to say something. Yeah. yeah. The, the collective case hearing started earnestly in 2019, October. Mm -hmm. Until March, we had robust hearings, around seven of them where mm -hmm. uh, Madam Sanchita also was present along with many home buyers. Excellent. And Excellent. then... From March 20, because of COVID and other things, nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Again, with great difficulty, we restarted the process in 2021. Mm -hmm. And in 2021, the Honorable Authority, with uh, due regards and respect to the authority, they ordered a site inspection of a audit, which is one of our reliefs in the collective case. In our collective mm -hmm. case, we asked for four things. Mm -hmm. We asked for structural civil mm -hmm. audit. Mm -hmm. We are asked for forensic financial audit. Mm. We ask for money trail. We okay. ask for formation of association of allotties. Mm. We ask for the full customer database. Mm. We ask for the full accounts of total money received versus what is spent. These are some of the key interim relief which we have sought. Out of which, one interim relief was granted, which was site audit. And that site audit was, was ordered by RERA and conducted by, this I am saying for the benefit of other home buyers, so that you will get some lessons on how to ensure that it happens properly. So we one have question 50, I have, 50. I understand there are multiple prayers that you have made in. The only what? prayer which has been done till now is structural civil audit, which was ordered by RERA, hmm. conducted by Assistant Director, Town and Country Planning Department, hmm. and Assistant Executive Engineer deputed by RERA Karnataka. Mm. And in future, when some such thing happens, our experience we are sharing, you have to ensure that more than 50, 60 or 100 of your buyers are there. Otherwise, builders are telling, no, 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 everything over, sir. Why you are coming, sir? This is all waste of time. Don't waste the time. You come there, we will take tea, coffee and go. Because our home buyers are there, including our madam, we were able to ensure that the audit happened properly for 12 hours. Otherwise, what the builders are doing, sir, Namaskara, sir, what do you want, sir? You come there, sir, we will discuss. Sir, one second. Day. I want to stop it there, sir. When you say audit is done by the RERA, did RERA published audited report where the what the money collected and what the spending? No, this audit is structural audit. The forensic audit is yet to be done, one of the relief. This structural audit... Any, any, timeline, any timeline, sir, RERA has given for completing a, a forensic audit? No, uh, we, I cannot comment on that because the matter is subjudice. It is in the RERA authority. Out of uh, our I am relief, just asking I'm only... a question whether a foreign sink audit has been completed or not. No, it has not yet completed, not, completed. not yet commenced, not yet ordered. Okay. What has been ordered is the structural audit. We are thankful to RERA for that. And the DTCP and AEA submitted the report to RERA authority. But I have a question, sir. I have a question. I think you guys have filed in the month in the year 2019. Yep. Is there any procedure, is there any complaint redressal system of SOP, standard operating procedure for resolving a complaint in available in RERA? 
Sir, uh, as regards collective complaints, uh, there is no SOP because they are very large in scope. As regards individual complaints, like my complaint or Sanjita Madam's complaint, there is, according to Rules and Act, 120 days. But a collective case, because it involves multiple agencies... 120, 120 days... To, uh, uh, the complaint has to be disposed of. But individual is, complaint. Is, is the cases have been disposed for all the individual cases in 120 days? No. That uh, Sanjita Madam will be explaining because okay. she also yeah. filed an individual probably, case. Probably as an individual, we wanted to touch base. The reason, sir, I wanted to highlight there is no standard operating procedure in RERA Karnataka for hearing these kind of complaints. We have been telling about problems, mane doka, home doka, ye sab doka kyun ho raha hai? Rera saab, Rera chairman saab, ye Rera doka ho raha hai, mane doka ho raha hai because regulatory body has not put up a standard operating procedure for hearing the complaints. We don't have a complaint redressal system properly executing. If, if you take up a group case, it is not published. People are waiting from last two years, three years, and the builder have cheated for six years. And now the, the RERA authorities are making delay, further more delays. And for individual complaints, 120 days not been honored to majority of the home buyers. There are 6,300 plus cases as of today. What is the resolution Mr. RERA chairman is taking? What is the resolution Mr. Home Minister of this state? With due respect, Somanaji, what steps you have taken to resolve the complaints? With due respect, our Honorable Deputy Commissioner of Bangalore Urban made a statement last week saying that he will take, they will take another 10 years to clear up the files, which is 360 plus order for execution, which came for RERA. What happens when all the 6,000 cases will come into execution? Where is the digital redressal system? Our Prime Minister, Honorable, respectable, the world's number one leader in the country, world number one leader in the world, talking about digital technologies, but is been digital technologies been implemented in Karnataka. Take a very, very small, minute portion, which is complaint redressal system, grievance redressal system, which is not there today in Karnataka effectively being implemented. Whereas if you go to Haryana, RERA, Couple of days back, we have seen a notice, we have seen a publication saying that Haryana government, Haryana RERA, has got an agreement with one of the private companies which has got going to implement, they signed an MOU for implementing a digital grievances platform using AI and block technologies. This is the advanced, this is the advance in the technology area. Why our Karnataka state government, which is ruled by the same party, which is held by the central party, not able to implement the digital technologies which our honorable prime minister always speak about it. We, with due respect, please, Karnataka era, implement the technology. There is a solution available. If Haryana government can take a decision, why can't Karnataka government? Why can't Karnataka era? System is available. Yeah, please go ahead, Sanjita, ma'am. Go ahead, Sanjita. Sanjita, go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so as, yes, yes, yeah. So as Ragusa mentioned about the site audit, site inspection that happened on 3rd July, 2020, last One. year. After that, uh, sorry, yeah, 2021, uh, last year. So after that, again, um, it is stopped and nothing is happening. There is no... Uh, Further progress, we don't know uh, what is there, what will happen next, and how, uh, what order will be passed or how it will be uh, proceeded in future. So, I have ab absolutely no clue. And um, coming to the uh, individual case. When, when your dreams are not getting fulfilled, what's your feel? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it at the end. But before that, I will, I, I want to talk about my individual case experience yes. also, because it yes. is very important for yes. everybody. Yes. Uh, yeah, every one of us to know, like you were yes. talking about this digital thing and so many things, just basic things. I, I want to share my own, my personal experience. Yes. So uh, I filed my individual case on 2020 February, that February, was 25th February. And I would like to take the yeah, February 2020. And I would like to uh, take the uh, number of my individual case also that is CMP slash 200225. 
slash zero 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 five five three six. So this is okay. the case number for my individual case. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, and I am not alone in that. There are about 60 plus people who have filed the individual case also against uh, the Sanjaya land and estate or uh, in, uh, under, you know, that India estate mm -hmm. yeah. uh, name. And uh, that case experience I would like to talk about. So we yeah. had a uh, few hearings, uh, even last year, uh, uh, the hearing were there. Even after the lockdown, we managed to get some hearings and it was happening through Skype, obviously, mm -hmm. because we could not go to the RADA office uh, for the new Corona pr protocol. Mm -hmm. And uh, all these hearings from our side, from the buyer side, How we used to be had, present. How many hearings you had? Um, you must have had more than 14 years. No, 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 not the group one, individual. I'm talking about the individual. No, no, individual. Yeah, individual only. But okay. because our our cases are similar and okay. it is against one builder, it used to be collective. So in batches, 30 or 40, uh, okay. 40 people, they used to club together okay. and we used to have the hearing together. Okay. How many such hearings so, you so had? That uh, one hour slot, about 14. One about 14 hearings. <laughs> so one hour. Yes, 14 hearings we had and oh uh, it used to be for one hour. Okay. In that one hour, in that one hour, uh, our uh, respected AO used to uh, take the attendance uh, of like how I uh, told about my case. So just imagine this 30, 40 cases used to take the attendance and we used to raise our hand like in the school, <laughs> yes, ma'am, I'm present. And uh, to our advocate, are you representing him? Are you representing her? So this attendance kept on going, kept on going, kept on going. And uh, uh, from, the side, from the builder uh, side, the, side out of this 14 hearing, yeah. maybe four, maybe four, only four times the lawyer came, only four times the lawyer came okay. and some uh, chota muta person from the organization, as I said, they were not big concern. They didn't have a, uh, that much of uh, authority to speak in behalf of builder other than three months may complete. Ho jayega. Uh, only they used to present. So and you are saying, ma'am, ma ma I want to stop it there. They, are not there. Stop. they used to test. Madam, madam, one second, one second, one second. No, I'll just, I just want to tell this. Yeah. AO used to ask us that, please call them. Where is where is the lawyer? Where is the lawyer from their side? Mm -hmm. They used mm -hmm. He used to tell our lawyer to call them. Mm -hmm. Where are they? Mm -hmm. So so that is how the proceedings was going. Okay, this is yeah, really, really, please. this is really, really unprofessional way of uh, doing things. Anyway, so uh, 14 hearings has happened. And in the all the 14 hearings, this is the same drama. This is the same drama. Oh my God. Even if we had the collective case. Yeah, exactly. It was the same drama. I think Raghu sir also wanted to add, uh, yeah, add please, something. Raghu, In the interest sir, of time, uh, we let, me, uh, elapsed, let yeah. me break these 14 hearings into two parts. Sir. There is one part from 2020 February, we have filed the cases. There mm -hmm. is one part from 2020 February till end of December 2020. Then there is second part from 2021 January till now. What is the difference between these two parts is, in the first part, there was a previous AO who mm -hmm. was uh, very strict on the procedure, uh, who was summoning the builder flyer, asking them questions. And there was really happening, hearings were happening. That means uh, you are going to present your side, they are going to present their side. Very, very important thing for all the home buyers I want to say, in part one, between February 20 and December 20, you will be surprised to know some of the arguments made by the builders through their advocates in the RERA court in front of AO. Very, very important submission they have made is, sir, you please dismiss all these complaints. You have also, how I can dismiss, sir? Sir, they have not registered the agreement for sale. So that is an invalid paper. It is tissue paper. So you please uh, kick out this complaint, sir, because they have not uh, registered the agreement for sale. An unregistered sale agreement is an invalid document in the court of law. So they don't have prima facie any right to uh, file case only. So you dismiss it. But the same tissue paper, they got right to legally collect 85% from Sanchita Banerji or Raghuji or Mahesji or Dhananjayji. On the same tissue paper, they collected 85%. But when you go and ask for the right in the court of law, the builder's argument is, sir, you first go and check, sir, whether they registered the sale agreement. Uh, then I went, uh, I am a common man like you only, sir, DJ, sir. Uh, I am not any big leader or anything. 
I got one doubt. Hey, what we not registered the sale did? What happened? Why we are not uh, not sale did? Agreement for sale we didn't register. Why we didn't do it? We are so much uh, knowledgeable person. I went and checked. Uh, the builder in 2013, he has already collected 35,000 rupees from from me for registering the agreement for sale, and he has not registered. In a marriage, two people should uh, sign, no sir. So I have he has said, yeah, we will get the agreement for sale registered. You pay 35,000, I have paid him, but he has not registered. Now in the court of law, the builder is arguing, sir, this nonsense tissue paper throw it out, no sir. They have not registered the sale agreement only, so it's invalid document. So then we have to go and search by saying 1908 Registration Act, what the British people have done, what it is telling, and then establish the fact that only registered sale deed is required. Agreement for sale registered or not doesn't matter. Yeah. It is a uh, it is falling under mm -hmm. the law of contracts. Correct. No, I this think uh, very important yeah. thing. This is the all the builders doing the same thing, sir. Sorry, no, I think it's Sanjita. a very good point. Uh, you know, uh, knowing the law is very important, uh, right? And uh, I am surprised when uh, the builders are making such a wrong uh, submissions in front of a court, in a RERA court, which is considered to be quasi judicial uh, system. Uh, the AO is keeping quiet and not passing the orders. Ma'am, just wanted to come into the nail into the, you know, the main problem of it. Is the order passed against in your uh, uh, complaint? No. After no, so 14 it hearings, did you get order? The hearings are stopped. No, the hearings are also stopped and there is no order passed. There yet. is no order. After attendance After taken, no, no hearings, order. There is no order. And as per the guideline, 120 days, these are like standard guidelines for individual complaints. Yeah. This is yeah. exactly what... And you asked about the feelings. So as a... So, yeah, please so, so, yeah, so today, yeah, so today our situation is we still are paying the EMI. We are staying in the rented house and we have absolutely no idea so we we thought okay from the builder side we are getting we we were ditched right so if we knock the justice door we will get some justice i mean the the court of law we will get some justice but here also we don't know when how and by the time things will be done maybe the the building because the building uh, quality is also uh, we visited we saw and the audit happened it's not that great quality already we have started seeing things are falling apart so by the time it will be done when 10 years 20 years 30 years i will be retired i will die forget about my parents i bought i bought it for my parents my parents are 75 years old now when they will going to stay there never it will not happen forget about my parents i don't know if i will ever go there and stay and in my future if we have kids whether they will get it and they will go there and stay so we do not know when when that will happen so this frustration you can understand very well for a common mm -hmm. man like us we are paying tax we are doing all our duties diligently and a simple thing that a shelter we want on our head that is what we are not getting where else really? we will go whom else to ask what to do this is really really unpathetic and un, uh, a constitutional situation in india which is happening and especially in karnataka ma'am i am really sorry to hear about your feelings and uh, you know about your father's uh, dreams of living uh, you know within their own house because most of our generations especially what we call it as a transformation generation and uh, our fathers and mothers only focused on giving value system to us and always teach us be honest be you know live a life of naitikate and here we are living with the honesty and we are living on our foot we are living on our with with integrity and paying honestly as a common man, as a middle class common citizen of this country, paying the tax honestly to the government before even they ask, we pay the TDS. In fact, we are, we are all of us have paid the TDS for all the installment that has been already been paid to these kind of builders. That means the tax is also being paid to the government. Is it the government responsibility that you know you guys take a tax and ignore the home buyers? Please understand, Mr. Government. Mr. State Minister, Housing Minister, Revenue Minister, Chief Minister, and Honorable Prime Minister of this country, we have paid the tax for the TDSs that we already paid. If you made 8 lakhs rupees as an installment under construction link plan or any other plan, we have already made a tax to it. We already paid tax for the installment. And as a return, what do we expect? Where is the safety for our investment? Where is the safety for our house? It is a compulsory responsibility of the government ruling 
to ensure the safety and social justice of their citizens and we have 4% of the tax payers who are honest in paying the tax and you guys are unable to give justice to this 4% community and this is a complete system failure i would call it as this is a complete failure of rera please go ahead arguna sir sir uh, to add insult to the injury uh, to add uh, to the voice of uh, sanjita madam our builder day before yesterday has called one buyer and uh, what is i have got the voice record what is telling hello mr you booked in 2013 and uh, you are a cheap guy you bought flat for 20 lakhs sir. and uh, what are you thinking you are imagining ah huh? you got pre mi 8 lakh rupees means i am a buffoon uh, i am a bevkoof to give you that money ah huh? all that you will not get uh, if you don't uh, register under construction i will sell it off to somebody else tomorrow only you be careful you and are a cheap fellow you, you will not get 1 rupee lakhs, also sir. you will not get 1 you will not you will get not one rupee also priya mai i will not give one paisa also delay compensation you are a cheap guy you purchased 20 lakhs today my flat worth 40 lakhs if you don't tomorrow morning go and register spending another 2 lakh rupees under construction no over a tank no stp no water facility no bescom no meter no current if you don't register na i will sell off to somebody else eh? you are a cheap fellow this what, what? this is really really nonsense sir the the government regulation says without yes. oc you cannot register and there is a court order which says under under construction or you know which has got no oc and the violations they are ordering and demolition of buildings and all and the other side the builders are cheating saying that okay you register which has got doesn't have a power it doesn't have a water it doesn't have oc it doesn't have any facilities that has been promised and my question to the honorable chief minister of this state where does these builders get such a such a such a such a foolish ideas of violating all the regulations all the law how does this builders will get such a such a shameless act of threatening the home buyers who paid money how come these guys are continue to cheat i will say mr chief minister of this state it is a complete failure of the land or order in state complete failure of the police system complete failure of the entire social justice in karnataka please work on it please work on it middle class families honest tax payers are suffering where is our housing minister mr somanna ji we missed saw a paper statement saying everything is fine look at our sanchita banerji ma'am here is she making a false allegations here she is publicly coming and telling what the problem is please understand there is a systematic problem that exist first thing is to understand there is a problem accept the problem find a solution to it mr housing minister somanna ji and the revenue minister mr ashok ji and the responsible and honorable chief minister of this karnataka mr chief minister yes sir mr basavaraj bommai ah basavaraj bommai ji sorry chief minister keep changing in karnataka so i forget uh, whether it is edurappa is the chief minister uh, or basavaraj bommai okay honorable Bas basavaraj bommai ji we respect you as a chief minister please give us justice please give us hope please give our home we don't need your bhagya we don't need your bhagya schemes of getting houses we don't need ashraya houses we don't come and stand in front of the queues of getting bhagyas please give our rights please give our rights it is the right of a tax payer to get justice under the law which has been created for the real estate projects which is rera please make rera work for the home buyers of karnataka with that note i would like to thank mr ragunath sir the president of the home buyers association for greens and also San sanchita ma'am sanchita banerji ma'am who come on to this platform to express her grievances and we all wish karnataka state government will wake up from kumbhakarna nidre 
and maintain the law and order in Karnataka and builders will respect the home buyers and deliver the houses as promised. It's already been delayed. Justice delayed is justice denied. With that note, request everyone to work on it. Do your job, do your duty. We have completed our job and duty of working in a, in a company. And after that, at nine o'clock, we are coming and requesting you. We are done our job. As a chief minister, as a housing minister, as a revenue minister, please do your duty whom, for which we have elected. Please go ahead, Arunas. Sir. Thank you very much, uh, DJ Dharanjay Padmanapacha, sir. And tomorrow, we are on the eve of the Republic Day. This country, this RERA Act, and all the acts in this country is enacted by not by any party or any leader, but based on the constitution, we the people of India, in the preamble of the constitution, we have enacted all these laws and they exactly. must work for us. And I take this opportunity to wish everyone here and on the platform a very, very happy Republic Day. And let us be the day when real justice begins for every common citizen of India, whether they are a rickshaw puller, whether they are a middle class man, whether they are a migrant labor, whether they are a factory worker, whether they are a farmer. Let this uh, 2022 Republic Day bring justice, equality, and uh, honor. Social justice to, to middle person. class as well. Absolutely, sir. Thanks My a lot, heartiest, sir. Uh, Republic and, uh, Day greetings that, to one and all. Yeah, with, with, with that note, Wishing you all a happy Republic Day. And uh, our Mane Dhoka program will continue because we are not going to stop until RERA fix their problem, until Karnataka state government wake up and say, yes, we are there. Yes, we are going to implement all the RERA Act and give justice. Until that time, stay tuned every day, 9 o'clock, sharp at Karnataka Home Buyers Forum with another home buyer. And tomorrow is very, very interesting. We will bring out to you how state owned government bodies are cheating the home buyers in their own projects with the community of 800 to 800 flats community where the state of Karnataka failed to give justice to 800 home buyers on Republic Day special under Mane Dhoka. Thank you all. Thank you very much, sir. Good night.